The world around us teems with life, from the smallest insects to the largest whales, all living things share a fundamental need water. But have you ever stopped to wonder where this precious resource comes from? The answer lies in a remarkable journey, a continuous cycle that connects the oceans, the atmosphere and the land. It all begins with the sun. The sun's warmth provides energy, like an invisible hand lifting water from the vast expanse of our oceans. This process, known as evaporation, transforms liquid water into an invisible gas called water vapour. Astonishingly, each year enough water evaporates from the oceans to cover the entire Earth's surface. This water vapour doesn't just disappear, it rises into the atmosphere, carried by air currents. As the water vapour ascends, it encounters cooler temperatures. This cooling causes the water vapour to condense, changing back into tiny water droplets. These droplets are so small that millions of them can fit on the head of a pin. As more and more water vapour condenses, these tiny droplets begin to clump together, forming larger and larger masses. These masses, made up of countless water droplets, are what we know as clouds. Clouds are like giant sponges in the sky, holding onto the water vapour that has evaporated from the oceans and land. But how do these clouds, sometimes light and fluffy, sometimes dark and ominous, stay afloat? The answer lies in the nature of air itself. Warm air is lighter than cold air. And since clouds are formed from warm, moist air rising, they are naturally buoyant. These clouds, however, are not stationary. Driven by wind currents, they travel across the globe, carrying their precious cargo of water. Some clouds may journey for thousands of miles, crossing continents and oceans before releasing their life-giving rain. Inside a cloud, a silent dance is taking place. The tiny water droplets that form the cloud are constantly colliding and merging. As they bump into each other, they combine, growing larger and heavier. This process is called coalescence. Eventually, the water droplets become so large and heavy that the air can no longer support their weight. Gravity takes over and the droplets begin to fall towards the Earth as rain. This might seem like a simple process, but the journey of a raindrop is anything but straightforward. As raindrops fall through the air, they encounter resistance, which can cause them to break apart into smaller droplets. Some raindrops may even evaporate before they reach the ground. This delicate balance of forces ensures that rainfall is spread out over time, preventing catastrophic floods. Rain is more than just water falling from the sky, it is a precious gift essential for life on Earth. When rain falls, it nourishes the soil, providing plants with the moisture they need to survive. But rain does more than just quench the thirst of plants. As raindrops travel through the atmosphere, they absorb gases and particles, including vital nutrients like nitrogen and sulphur. These nutrients are then carried to the ground, enriching the soil and providing essential elements for plant growth. Animals, too, rely on rain for their survival. Rain fills rivers and lakes, providing drinking water for a vast array of creatures. It also replenishes groundwater, which is essential for both plants and animals. Imagine a world without rain. Rivers and lakes would dry up, leaving parched earth in their wake. Plants would wither and die, unable to survive without the life-giving moisture of rain. Animals deprived of their water source would perish from thirst. Without rain, the lush green forests that cover our planet would transform into barren wastelands. The air, no longer cleansed by the scrubbing action of raindrops, would become thick with pollutants. The earth, once teeming with life, would become a desolate and inhospitable place. The cycle of rain is not just a scientific phenomenon, it is a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things. Rain, a seemingly simple event, plays a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of life on Earth. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more content.